Hey everybody and welcome to the VHS Bandits podcast. Today we're watching The Toxic Avenger. Let's pop in the tape. Meet little Melvin. He's a 90 pound weakling. Everyone hated Melvin. Yeah, I'm gonna take this mop and shove it down your throat. They teased him. I wanna do it with you. Okay. They taunted him. They tormented him until he had a horrifying accident and fell into a vat of nuclear waste. Transforming little Melvin into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Melvin became the Toxic Avenger. The first superhero born out of nuclear waste. Yes, the muggers and the rapists didn't know what law and order was until the Toxic Avenger came to town. Holy shit! I don't know what it was, but it saved my life. All right, everybody, drop your tacos or I'll blow your brains out. The vandals and the perverts had their way with the little people of Tromaville until the Toxic Avenger ripped them apart. The Toxic Avenger. His face is so terrifying. We can't show it to you now. You'll have to see the movie for yourself. The Toxic Avenger can bend steel with his bare hands. Oh, we're all kid. Get it? Leap small cars in a single bound. He crushes drug pushers. Smashes hit and run drivers. And gives all criminals their just desserts. The Toxic Avenger. He was a hero. He's a hero. Wow. He's a fighter. He's a lover. Well, Melvin, you're beautiful. The good citizens love him. The fat and corrupt hate him. Kill that bastard for me. You gotta kill him. Yeah. Will he survive? <laughs> For incredible explosive action, you must see the Toxic Avenger. He's a different kind of hero. Toxic Avenger is coming to your town. Look out. And now, our feature presentation. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the VHS Bandits podcast. Today, we have a very special guest. He's one of our biggest fans. <laughs> uh, this guy, if you are a VHS collector and on the Instagram VHS scene, this man practically me—he needs no introduction. Everybody should be following this dude. Uh, he has shells with glowing ooze on them. <laughs> uh, his fictitious girlfriend is Tracy Lords. Uh, he's a oh. big—he is a—he's uh, he, a wrestling fan. Um, uh, he's a big trauma fan. He lives in Tromaville, Texas. I am talking about the one and only VHS Bloodbath. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? So, Thanks dude, for being on, man. Welcome to the show, and we are also here. Obviously, oh, so again, I am Dane Train, and with me, as always, is our brother over in Los Angeles, Topher Hansen. Hello, <laughs> that's me. So, what's going uh, on, guys? Everything is great. Hey, hey, man, welcome to the show. I think this is the first time ever that we've done an episode where all three participants have been in completely different time zones. That's yeah, it's true. pretty rad. Yeah. Like, I think I'm in the most futurist of all of you guys because it's 5.04 over here. Ooh. And for you, VHS Bloodbath, it's uh, it's an hour behind. And for T-Man, I think it's three hours behind, right? Three hours. It's two o'clock right Two o'clock. Oh, my goodness. It's it's uh, 
It's uh, late lunchtime for you. It's almost dinner time for me. What's what's the future like, guys? What does the future hold? <laughs> well, it's a uh, it's a sunny forty Is it dystopian early forty degree day over here, over in Massachusetts. For you guys, it's probably a little tad on the warmer side. I'm assuming. A little it's bit. It's actually it's kind of it's cold here today. Like the weather's been crazy. Usually it's super hot, but. It's like freezing cold today. What? It what? Sucks. All right, for for you Texans, what is freezing cold in terms oh, of right, degrees? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I said freezing cold. You're from Boston. That's like super cold. I guess. Uh, I don't know, man. Like fifty or like forty or something would be oh, pretty man. cold. So it's like forty degrees today, and like everybody's out walking and washing and their warm. cars and stuff. <laughs> like it's like, ooh, it's warm today. Like the sun's out. <laughs> How about you, T man? What's what's beautiful, sunny Southern California like today? Uh, it's probably like sixty five. Ooh, so not too bad. That's a you know that's like good sweatshirt weather. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like that when I was in San Diego last November. It was uh, usually seventy. Sometimes it dipped into those mid sixties, and I was like, "This is perfect. This is nice." So this is what the fans want. We have. <laughs> VHS bloodbath. We're talking about one of the, the biggest Instagram <laughs> VHS community members here to talk about sweater weather. Now, VHS bloodbath. Do you prefer cardigans or do you prefer a pullover? What is your preferred sweater choice? Mm, that's a tough one. Maybe a nice members only jacket. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> you heard it first on the VHS Bandits. How about like a nice neon? We are getting breaker. down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> so for those of you guys listening, um, uh, I have been trading with Bloodbath over here for like two years. Hands down, one of the coolest guys in the VHS collecting scene. Um, oh shucks. He, this dude um, like speaks my fucking language. This guy, like, he's just he's just the man when it comes to the VHS scene. I love seeing his posts, great stuff. Um, he just this guy just gets me, and whenever we trade, this guy just makes me smile from ear to ear. Um, because uh, everything everything that we trade is is awesome, and he's always throwing in some cool uh, surprise stuff. And one of the surprises with I think it was one of the first times that we traded was you gave me this wicked bitchin' cut box of the Toxic Avenger. Oh and, yeah, and Ooh, uh, coming full circle. Yeah, so <laughs> so when I, I remember getting in touch with you a while ago and being like, "Dude, be on the show," and you were like, "You're like, brother, man, I, I don't have a computer right now," and I was like, "Oh shit!" And like, what do we do? <laughs> so, and I was like, "Wait a minute, we could do Skype on the phone." So, um, things worked out time wise, and and here we are. Here we are on, on a on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, and we watched. Toxic Avenger. Now I know that you have like numerous copies of <laughs> of this movie, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty. Re- I really like the movie a lot. I have a just like different releases, like the Lightning Video, the Vestron, and the Trauma release. I really like Trauma films. That's probably like the best Trauma yeah. movie they got. It's really rad. <laughs> So, so this was your choice to watch. Why did you choose Toxic Avenger over the? what I can only assume are thousands and thousands of tapes in your collection. Yeah, why not like Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD or something? Oh, that's a good one, too. It was going to be the Joy Luck Club, but I couldn't find it. I didn't know if you guys had that. I do not. No, that's... no. Don't have that uh, one. I picked it. It's just like one of my favorite movies, and it's just like a really cool movie to watch. I want to draw guys to see like a good movie. <laughs> I felt y'all guys would enjoy and the people would enjoy talking about and stuff. Yeah, totally. I thought you were going to pick Simon Birch. (laughs) Hopefully, I was going to say maybe next time. (laughs) Okay, we'll save Simon (laughs) for another day. (laughs) Oh, man. So, So I'm just curious. So you had a picture posted where you were like, okay, I'm getting ready to be on this podcast. And you had like every copy. So did you watch all of them or did you just watch one? <laughs> all of them simultaneously? <laughs> all back to back. Yeah. I took a lot of notes. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just picked one. I just aesthetically put them all up there. It looks a little bit cooler. <laughs> well, which one did you watch? Uh, it was the trauma release, the like the unrated director's cut. Oh, so, okay. So yours might be a little bit different from the one that we yeah, watched. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. But it's not really too much. It's just like really like some of the gore, like a couple of the seconds are cut out. It's okay. Really not you might much have to sense. fill us in a little bit <laughs> on those couple of seconds. 
So he bleeds a little bit longer. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so the version that that you gave me uh, a while back is the lightning uh nice. release and uh so the one that i have it, it's a cut box and it's it has this beautiful beautiful x rental patina to it like like it the the box itself it looks like um toxie's blind girlfriend cut the box and put it <laughs> in this slip case and it's like it's all like faded and like there's like puke stains on it and it's all grossed <laughs> out and there's like a little sticker on the bottom for like the id number for when you rent it and then the tape itself like like a lot of lightning videos like has all these weird little like like gross little like dirt spite i don't know what the hell it is yeah, it's from yeah. the glue but like but like it looks like it's got like acne or something like that i don't know what yeah. but like it's all grossed out and and it says please be kind please rewind oh, wait yeah please rewind tape <laughs> and uh <laughs> and uh Shocker. um of course like any other lightning where the sticker itself is a lot smaller than the space for the sticker itself yeah and it's like cuck-eyed you know um hey, so you so, gotta save money where you can yeah so so bloodbath, do you want do you have a copy of it in front of you? Uh yeah, I can Do you wanna do you wanna go over the box and read the back? Uh let's see if I could do this. It's been a while <laughs> since I read. All right. <clears throat> you just counted to five, man, and the Yeah, and the, you guys missed it in the test. So. <laughs> uh do you want me to talk about the cover or oh, just dude, the back? do the whole thing. <clears throat> check, check. <laughs> All right, so uh, the cover is pretty cool. Uh, it's got Toxie on front, and he's holding the mop, and he's all ripped, and he's got the American flag behind him, and that's pretty funny. And uh, on top, the tagline says, he was 98 pounds of solid nerd until he became the Toxic Avenger, the first superhero from New Jersey. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like the cover a lot. It's, like, it's a very memorable cover, like whenever you would see it in the – rental stores and stuff it always it just looks so awesome he looks uh, so cool yeah i totally agree yeah it's definitely it would it like i remember seeing this at the video store myself uh and and thinking about like what a wicked cool cover that was yeah so. and uh <clears throat> the back says what's faster than a spreading germ more powerful than mr clean and more lethal than nuclear waste is it a floor cleaner? Is it a waste site? No. It is the Toxic Avenger, the first superhero from New Jersey. He french fries his foes, dry cleans the dastardly. <laughs> Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> he, he actually, uh, it's not a french fry. It's a Mexican fry. It's at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, right. Yeah. The taco, taco, taco place with ice cream. So yeah. far, the back of this box reads like a Billy Mays infomercial. Yeah, right. <laughs> Call now! Toxic <laughs> Avenger here for Orange Glow! <laughs> for crime, crime-busting crime action! Order now. <laughs> uh, but <okay>. wait! <laughs> Watch out, bad guys. Truth, justice, and the American way is on a righteous rampage. It's Melvin. At last, the Toxic Avenger, and he's gonna get ya. That's pretty funny. <laughs> he's gonna get ya. <laughs> he should have been in the uh, movie, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, transformed from wimp to warrior by a dip in a chemical pool, Melvin talks to his friends. They never call him no! Toxic Avenger in the movie. <laughs> no. no. They just call him the monster. Uh, battles corruption and crime in a small American town, but can an industrial strength superhero survive a showdown against an army of tanks and troops? Thrilled to the action, adventure, and yes, romance, and this hilarious tug-in-cheek hit. Warning, explosively funny may cause irritation to the excessively serious. What? All right. Get uh, maybe if you're like a serious person, it'll irritate you because the movie's explosively funny <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's uh raunchy vulgar and funny says judith christ of wor tv hilariously tasteless jaw-dropping violence we would watch it again in a minute says the new york daily news and dot 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 has a maniacally farcical sense of humor says the new york <laughs> times 
They oh, use way boy. too many big words. <laughs> yeah, 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 for this seriously, movie. <laughs> you're talking about the fucking Toxic Avenger. <laughs> Calm down, New York Times. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. So, so yeah, so this is this was my first time watching the movie in eons because the last time I watched it, I rented it from the Video Vault video store in Westboro, Mass, probably like 10 years ago. Chico. And I think it was on VHS because they had like a classic section that had like a bunch of movies like Back to the Future and shit that were it still had on tape. The Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, yeah, and all the that Toxic garbage Avenger. is probably in there too. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably Planet of the Apes and God knows what was still in. Probably Ten Commandments. I don't know. So, um, how about you, T Man? You watched this movie a long time ago too, right? Yeah, this is actually my first time watching this movie in its entirety. Wow! Because yeah, I I watched this when I was 12 or so it was like on late night TV and uh, I think I I was either at like my aunt's house or in my bedroom remember my like a little tiny oh yeah TV yeah you had cable that on had. that TV so um, and like the first 10 or 15 minutes of this movie are like great and it's like it's like screwballs or or like any like cheesy teen sex comedy totally right and then they run over a 12 year old boy's (laughs) skull and that fucked me up and i could not finish the movie after seeing like that came out of nowhere yeah uh especially just like catching this on tv you know it's like this funny goofy movie and then this child's head explodes all over the ground that was too much for me uh being uh of the same age as that kid right uh, watching it and it was just like that that took a, a lot out of me <laughs> so i uh, did not finish the movie until uh today yeah wow. i'm i'm not gonna lie same thing too if, if we can jump the gun just a little bit I love this movie, like, except for that scene. And that was the only thing that put me off from watching it ever since. <laughs> and I love, <laughs> I love, the, you know, I've seen all the other Toxies and all that. But there's something about that kid scene that just kind of, eh, you know, it's kind of yeah, like, it's okay, pretty heavy. It's like, you know, you know how our other co host, Kevbot, like, he'll give a movie a zero out of 10 if, like, they heard a dog in the movie or something like that which to which they, they do, do which they this do. one so if he was here yeah. he totally would have given the movie a freaking flat slate zero zippity do zero toxies out of 10 um <laughs> but uh but anywho wait we'll, we'll, we'll get into that so let, all right why don't we start the movie here let's get into the movie well, when was the first time you watched this bloodbath oh, was good this point. Uh, was it a kid when you were a kid or uh, uh yeah it was pretty crazy like i guess my cousins or somebody else owned the movie because I don't know like how or why I would watch this movie as a kid because it's it's pretty crazy. It shows some pretty heavy stuff. So I guess yeah. somebody else owned it, and I just remember it as a kid, like watching it and just being like, "Wow, this movie is so crazy and like so off the wall." It was I don't know, it just blew my mind. <laughs> the gore that... effects are like really cool and uh, just really totally. really practical and stuff. Yeah, if I may argue, they are too good for this movie. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think say like this is one of the highest production value um, trauma movies I've ever. They got tanks. Oh and yeah, multiple yeah. explosions and shit. Yeah, they definitely um, put all their eggs in one basket with this one. Yeah, well, that was Kabuki Man, and then they went broke and started uh, <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> making really uh, bad. <laughs> right, uh, but. So like the gore and like it's a silly goofy movie, but then the gore is like so realistic. Yeah, I think yeah. like it's very like whoever did the special effects did a great job, but it's for me it's not in line with the like goofy tone of the rest <laughs> of the movie, which is what makes it off putting to me. You know, I can I could see that. I could see That's that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, kind of like when you watch like some other goofball movies and the gore is like so cheesy that it's like on the same level as the rest of the movie what do you mean yeah right. it's like if someone took uh loose screws and then like dubbed in parts of faces of death or something <laughs> that's what toxic avenger is yeah right. i could see that yeah yeah 
Um, so so and then it's a it's a superhero movie also, so that's even more crazy. There you like, go. It's not... I think the craziest part is the fact that this show got turned into a goddamn kids Saturday yeah. morning cartoon. Seriously, <laughs> which is awesome. I love the freaking cartoon. Yeah, he's kind of like played... Captain Planet. He kind yeah. of, oh yeah. yeah yeah kind of in the same vein you know. Um, Have you ever played the the game for it on the Sega or the on on Genesis? No, I remember yeah, seeing the it at the Crusaders. video store, but I've never but I've never rented it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, do you have it? Tough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Um. All right. Why don't we Why don't we jump into the movie here? So the movie starts off with a warning that le- kind of like <laughs> when you play like Resident Evil or Silent Hill, and it's like this movie has scenes of extreme violence and gore. So be warned. Mm-hmm. So we, we come in <laughs> and the movie's like bum 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 good ding good ding dunk 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 like you got this goofball loose that screws 80s. sex that sex romp <laughs> like body talk. It's such a cool song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Body yeah. talk, body talk. And like you got all these <laughs> wackadoo characters that are hanging out in the Traumaville uh fitness center. And yeah. like you got like this overweight chick in an aerobics class like eating chocolate with <laughs> chips eating, in her yeah. hands and you got like these two gay guys in thongs and <laughs> you got like this old lady in this like goldish yellow jumpsuit and like all these wackadoo characters just like hanging out and the funny thing is like I see all these crazy characters and I almost want to see more of all these crazy characters because I'm like I want to see more of these goofballs you know what I mean yeah so I yeah they know. look crazy yeah very, very nice. um and Did we get introduced to Melvin yeah, so tell us a little bit about Melvin Bloodbath. Uh, what is he? A ninety-eight pound weakling or something like that? <laughs> like that's the the uh, introduction guy says or the voiceover. Yeah. But yeah, we get introduced to Melvin. He's the Melvin the Mop Boy. He's a janitor at the Trumbullville facility center or fitness center, and he's a he's a nerd and he messes up a lot and he's always doing stupid stuff and getting beat up by the guys and the girls. He's basically Urkel, but he's not smart. He That's the way I see <laughs> yeah. him. He's he's totally Urkel. No, you don't think so, T Man? I don't think he's an Urk well, he's not like an endearing character. He's just a dummy. I just see like, him. Like he you know what I mean? Like he's I don't know. Urkel's yeah, the kind of guy that like him. he knocks shit over and he's like, Did I do that? <laughs> like, oh, that's what yeah, Melvin yeah. did. Like mean, he takes he... the mop and he like puts the mop over people's heads on accident and he's you know. he's clumsy, but I don't think he's not like clumsy where like Urkel is just like overly excited and like does <laughs> things by accident. This guy's just an idiot. That's true. You know okay. what I mean? Like he, yeah. if you're putting a mop on someone's face, <laughs> like come on. <laughs> true, true. I Urkel like, would never do that. I feel like he is the only nerd in all of Traumaville. Like everybody yeah, everyone else, else is <laughs> cool. You know That's what I mean? True. Everybody else is like they work at the taco joint. They're like super fit and they're assholes at this fitness center. And like that's it. Those are the two people that that are in this movie. And like, Actually, there's a lot of there's a lot of like dummies. You're either there's criminals. That's another. Oh, okay. There's true. 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 A bunch of transvestite criminals and <laughs> there. You can also be a. Uh, there's more dummies. He's the only okay. like nerdy one, but that's there's a true. lot of like dummies where. They just have close-ups and they're going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> probably like my favorite part of this movie is, is all Jerry these reaction shots of people just going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, it's uh. very well directed. <laughs> I can yeah. just see Lloyd Coffin just being like, all right, everybody, okay, no, give me some goofy faces. All right, I'm rolling camera, I'm rolling film, give me goofy faces. Go, 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 go. All right, great. cut, print. All right, I'm sending some new goofy faces. <laughs> you, you over here, give me some goofy faces. Go, 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 go. Okay, great, yeah, we're going to put that in a movie. Cut, print, let's go. You know? <laughs> I guess totally that sounds about right. That sounds like a solid theory to me. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Next time we go, right, next time I go to Rock and Shock, I'm gonna and I see Lloyd Kaufman. I'm gonna ask him like, "Hey, tell me about all these reaction shots to Toxic Avenger." Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, um, so everybody hates Melvin because he's a klutz. Yeah, he's always messing stuff up. And we're introduced to these uh, to like this little gang. Um, yeah. What the hell are their names? I don't even remember. Like Bozo and Bozo and, name, and like Guts, uh, Gus, Slug. Like that. I think one's name was Slug. The guy yeah, who yeah, looks like Slug. Corey Feldman. Yeah, Corey Feldman looking guy. <laughs> Beefy Corey Feldman. And they got yeah. the, they got their two girlfriends. 
Yeah. Uh, don't know what the hell they knew, their names were. Blonde yeah. one and other one. Party hats one and party hats party two. Party hats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, so they're all like, I like I like I, again like uh, showing people's reaction faces. I just think Lloyd Kaufman when he's directing, he's just like, all right, everybody, be as ridiculous and wild like like you're taking a shit the whole time because <laughs> like you're introduced to to like these two to these bad guys and their girlfriends and they're sitting in the hot tub and the guy's it's like whoa, just that whoa, <laughs> like that's that's these char- that's every single character is like fucking crank up to eleven. This entire yeah. movie, just wow! That's them the whole movie. You know what I mean? And He's I, really stressing me, Julie. <laughs> you know? Julie, that's, there it is. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, what's he stressed out about? He's chilling out in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> and like, are these then, people in school? Are they like adults? Like, I have no idea. Oh yeah, they never say nothing like that. I have no idea. I know like he's got a license because he drives his Camaro that he hits everybody with, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, I, I think they're delinquents. I wouldn't say that even if they were school aged, they're probably not going. They're hanging out at the gym all day. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Pumping iron. Oh, and, and and the guy hates the fact that he's got any belly fat. So he's like, he's like taking a brick shit and he, as he's like pumping <laughs> iron. He's like, I, got, I can't have any fat. <laughs> you know? Funny. So, uh, so, so, so everybody, everybody hates Melvin. Everybody thinks he's a klutz and everybody's out to get him. And I feel so bad for this damn kid. Yeah, it's well, pretty messed up. He gets his revenge, his his <laughs> oh, toxic yeah. revenge. He sure does. Uh, but so they're having uh, uh, Julie and uh, Slug, I think it is, or one of the dudes, whatever. They start fucking in some room. I don't yeah. know. Yo, what told the he guy? Like bribes, I gave that fifteen dollars. The owner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave this guy fifteen dollars. We got this for twenty four hours. Let's <laughs> fuck on this sweaty bench. <laughs> and so they do. Uh, and Melvin walks in, mopping the carpet, and he, he sees he sees them party hats, and then they freak out uh, at him. And she pulls a switchblade on him. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Those. Uh... <laughs> He's got those uh, suntan party hats. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. how you know it's the 80s. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just regular <laughs> suntan, but they're like squ- – they're triangle. <laughs> triangle <laughs> suntan party literally, hats. Literally party hats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Oh, shit. Hey, good point. <laughs> Go point. <laughs> uh, um, and yeah, that, so, like, so they're I like, okay, the we know where... what to do with him. We know how to set Melvin straight. But before they do... I, that's when they kill the like kid in the car. Oh, and yeah, stuff. yeah. They got the Camaro a- that like has pictures of like different kinds of people and animals. And like every time they hit one of them, they put an X on it. Yeah, it's like a point system and stuff. Yeah. Sick. Funny. How much for a kid on a bicycle? Yeah, that's the only part that like... I remember seeing that. So when T-Man and I were watching it, I was like, listen, we need to we need to fast forward this. I don't want to watch <laughs> this. And he's like, no, no, no. You close your eyes and I'm going to watch. I said, okay. So I closed. I looked away and I didn't watch it. And then I thought it was safe. And I looked back and they were like doing the close-ups of like the, the, the squished the head as the people were taking yeah. the pictures. I was like, ah. Like that's what they run over this kid's head with the car and i was like oh, okay it's not as bad as i thought and then they proceed to take polaroids right yeah. after and i was like oh this is what was bad i completely <laughs> forgot about this and that's definitely the worst part of this whole scene Ooh. Yeah. yeah it's pretty messed up because they run him over first and then they're like he's not dead you don't get the points and he's like that's when he reverses and he runs over the kid's head and yeah. I think they use like a oh, some like a watermelon or something. It looks pretty crazy. I forgot yeah, what they said. It looks like cold yeah. spaghetti when they do the close up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, the ladies run over there and take the Polaroids of him because they like to do stuff with the Polaroids when they're alone. I think it's Ugh. so weird because like all the other criminals are sort of like okay, obviously they're all over the top, but like they're criminals. Whereas these people are literal like psychopaths. Yeah, yeah. they're serial killer man. psychopaths. You know what I mean. The other people don't really do anything that bad. 
Like the other criminals, they like beat up a cop, I guess. Yeah, the robbers. But they try and... to bribe him and stuff. Yeah, they're just like. Actually, no, the other guys, like the guys in the taco place, they're really bad. Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty, pretty bad. Up. They're pretty bad. So. A lot of bad yeah. people in Trommelville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I retract <laughs> that statement. Everyone's terrible. <laughs> so, uh, so, so the, this, uh, these, these psychopaths decided they're going to get back at Melvin and one of the, and, and, Bobo's is that right? Bobo, <laughs> Bozo, Bozo. All right, Bozo's <laughs> Bozo's girlfriend goes up to him and was like, "Ooh, you need to meet me in this uh, in this locker room over here. That's real dark. You know, we're gonna do it." So he goes in there and they make him like kiss a goat that had like a bra and a and a wig on, and everybody in the fitness place is there surrounding him, laughing at him. The goat yeah. looks like Willem Dafoe at the end of Boondock Saints. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Where he goes, yeah. <laughs> shoots the guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, so he meets up with Julie in the locker room, and that's when she makes him put on the, the tutu, that oh. pink outfit. Yeah, that's right. She's she like, pink. you put on your pink, and I'll take off my pink. And we get more party hats. Yeah. And then yeah, it gets dressed up and then goes down there and kisses the goat and or the sheep and they all start laughing and they're chasing him and he's trying to run away. But uh, before and, that, they showed that uh, like an eighteen wheeler of that toxic waste pulls up with those two guys that are like snorting cocaine, so they just like stop and park <laughs> there. It was so weird because they're just like, <laughs> oh hey, by the way, I forgot to tell you. Whoosh! Here's this big giant ass <laughs> bag of coke. Oh yeah, let me pull over. Let's do it right now. <laughs> and there's funny. nothing holding the there's like 16 uh like big drums of toxic waste with no caps on or anything yeah <laughs> there, there's nothing like securing them to the back of this <laughs> truck it's like when they stop like when they pull over like a bunch of them just like a whoosh and like move to the front they're all <laughs> sloshing around like all the dry ice making the smoke all like going all over the place yeah uh so I guess Melvin gets like so embarrassed that he has to bust through a window. I don't know what made him want to do that, but he just like crashes through the window and he goes head first straight into a barrel of of uh, toxic waste, the uh, whatever they call it, TC39 or whatever the secret of the ooze ooze is. <laughs> TRC9 or I don't remember what the hell it was called. But he did not turn into a mutant ninja turtle. Nope. I like the so they super shredder. I think it's yeah super shredder. I think it's crazy <laughs> that like all of the people in the fitness club decide to go outside and continue to laugh at to him laugh. as he's on the floor like <laughs> as he's like boiling and 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 getting all grossed out and then like like the cops are like all right son let me help you the cop just barely touches him and his fans just go into flames <laughs> that was that was great. <laughs> And then yeah, he, and he's not on fire himself, but he does. But, like two seconds, later, he's just like, "Oh, I'm gonna get up and go on fire." Yeah, yeah, you're right. I get maybe it's the air, the the airflow mixes with the chemicals. Maybe, yeah. As he's transforming into the toxic Avenger, Dino DNA. <laughs> he turned into a dinosaur. <laughs> 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 so yeah, he run, he's on fire, so he runs home and jumps in the bath. bath and, yeah, that's a really bad idea. Doesn't go well. Yeah, and again, the effects are really good. Like, his face is bubbling up, his arms all bubbling. There's, like, some really good prosthetics yeah. and practical effects, uh, and it's really gross looking. <laughs> and his mom thinks he's going through puberty. <laughs> he's becoming a man. <laughs> What's going on in there? <laughs> And then we never see f f see her again until the end of the movie, where <laughs> all of a sudden she's like, "Hey, he's my son." And you're like, "Yeah, how do you know that? He lives in a dump now." <laughs> yeah. Well, he tries to go back and see her, and like she doesn't. I guess he. I think he like scares her or something. Like she just like shoes him away. Something like. Oh, that. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But uh, I, I I think that she should have. She should have let him back in the house. Yeah, she should have called a, a doctor. Something. Yeah, nobody, <laughs> called, out. nobody calls paramedics on this guy. <laughs> I guess everybody in Tromerville sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tromerville is probably not where you want to be. 
So the so somebody put on a uh, an invert filter when they were editing the movie <laughs> in an earthquake filter, and he became the Toxic Avenger. Very nice. And Very cool part. That's when the <laughs> that's when the movie goes from a sex comedy to a, a crazy horror, a crazy psychopath movie, then back to a sex comedy, and then it turns into an Avenge movie for the rest <laughs> of the movie, like a crime fighting movie. So you got a cop. So suddenly it cuts to like a cop, and there's like these three thugs. One of them's in drag, and the other one, what was his name? Cigar face. Cigar face. He's great. And they start like beating the shit out of this cop, and uh, Toxic Avenger comes up and kicks the shit out of all of them. the The fights are pretty good. Like they're pretty well choreographed. I I think. I mean, as far as like. A trauma movie goes. <laughs> yeah, I thought that, I thought that was pretty well done. It's like I like all the parts where they cut to the Toxic Avenger like fighting a dummy. Like he's got this guy in a barrel. Oh, and, like, that, guy, dummy that was the best. And he yeah. keeps like punching him in the nuts <laughs> the whole time. Like, <laughs> See, like that's the stuff that I feel is more in place with this movie. Like he's just be, it's like a blatant like just pants filled with you know cotton or whatever yeah and he's just punching it in the dick over and over and it's clearly a prop but like when the the gore of the brains and everything like even in that same scene he like pokes out a guy's eyeballs yeah he rips that guy's eyes out and it's very it's very different than punching a a dummy in the dick (laughs) yeah yeah it's either you're high or you're low right yeah stuff the whole movie i think um, yeah, so like then, then at that point, you find out that the Toxic Avenger is like intelligent, and he has like this very uh, sultry uh, uh, adult His voice. voice. <laughs> Yet he's like any other time, but when he talks, he's like, "Ooh, hey, I'm a hello." <laughs> yeah, you know? he's hosting a late night radio jazz uh, show, and it's weird Sweet too because like. Sometimes in the movie it goes between like obviously it's redubbed with whoever's voice that is, but then sometimes it cuts to the actual actor just going, you know, now I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> get back at you, and it totally sounds different. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, how did the toxic waste make him like intelligent and not a dupus anymore? Well, I, maybe the toxic waste like inverts everybody because he was like a bumbling doofus, and it makes you into strong and smart. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the, all right. Maybe that's what it does. You know. Then the the entirety of this town should uh, everybody should go jump in a barrel waste. of toxic waste and make <laughs> them all better. You know, yeah. I honestly I was really shocked that Troma never made like a Toxy Five that was basically the Toxic Avenger, where like all these other characters got into the toxic slime and became like his fighting fight crime fighting gang. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, totally that's that's like on a that. toxic crusaders. That's what I'm cartoon, saying. Like, like, yeah. I, I'm surprised they never made a like rated R toxic Avenger movie. That was the toxic crusaders. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was like live action. That was like the same thing, but it was, you know, toxic and, and they're like, ripping people's hands off and stuff you know <laughs> so punching people in the wiener yeah <laughs> in, yeah so um off comes what i would say is probably my favorite scene in the whole movie where all these people are at a taco joint well like first of all everybody's having like a block party outside the taco joint they all get like their monster trucks and they're just like jigging out outside <laughs> and inside everybody's eating their tacos including all the bumbling doofuses who are making the tacos and one guy's drinking whiskey from his underpants. Yeah. <laughs> he was like the one guy in the whole time. He was just like, duh, 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 duh. anytime they cut to him. It was him and the other taco guy who like turns into a normal person after this scene. Oh, yeah. That's right. He's the one that like hangs out with the kids and stuff. Um, So like these, these, these dudes come in and – all these three guys and all but one have like goofy face paint on and they have to like introduce each other like hey this is my guy Clyde and over <laughs> here is my guy like Razor and me my name is this and we're here to rob you guys <laughs> my name is this you know what I mean <laughs> it's so weird and each guy like has their own personality which I thought was cool 
And he had this one guy who looks like he was taking a shit the whole time, and he, like, shoots the cash register. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't rob the place. They're like, we're here to rob the place. Um, yeah, even he though shot we the don't. money in the register. We're just going to – yeah. Um, and that's when we meet the uh, Toxie's girlfriend, uh, Sarah, I think is her name. She's a blind woman, and they kill her dog. It's pretty messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that guy. Why did you guys pick it? There was seriously. <laughs> there was that shame guy. Shame on us. <laughs> There's that guy who shame. He's got the shotgun and like half his face is red and all that. Like he was probably my favorite of the three of those guys. He was he was you a know, character. He mm-hmm. quit the movie like after that scene because he had to point that shotgun at the baby. Oh like, that yeah. Really upset him, so like he left the movie like right after that. I don't. Oh, I, wow. I wouldn't blame That's, him. That's uh, interesting to know. Yeah. I He's mean, like been he, in other movies too. Really? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Like good movies? Uh, like I guess like B-rated movies more. So stuff yeah. we've uh, all well, seen. Oh, uh, Class of 1999. Oh, okay. Oh, Sweet. no shit. Which one was the one with a uh, what's her name? Foxy Brown. Uh, uh, Pam Greer. Is that the second one or the first one? I think it was the second one. I don't, I don't know. know. I haven't seen, seen it. it. Uh, Anyways, uh, anywho, <laughs> so uh, so Toxie Toxie is like kicking the shit out of all these guys, and he, he has a very unique way of destroying all of them. Oh yeah, bloodbath! What did he do? <laughs> uh, well, one guy, the guy that looks like he's trying to take a crap the whole time, he go ahead and uh, puts his hands in the taco fryer. That's no fun. <laughs> then we got no the uh, <laughs> then we got the other guy, the red and black guy. He makes his face like a milkshake. He squirts in the, the ice cream and the whipped cream and the cherry, and then he puts that little drill thing that they use to make milkshakes down his throat. And, like a McFlurry. <laughs> yeah, it's a little blood spurt real quick. And then uh, the black guy with the two knives, he gets his arm ripped off. That sucks. <laughs> that cool. sucks. <laughs> yeah, how did he die? I know he gets his arm. Well, they, put he, him, he just... they put him into like a pizza pizza oven. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why the hell there's a pizza oven at a taco place, but all right. <laughs> like the Taco Bell Pizza Pizza Hut. Ooh. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a <laughs> dual Taco Bell Pizza Hut. Like, TV, original... don't you have one of those down the street from you that, that's we got a drive through? Yep, yep. <laughs> so... That's too awesome. Yeah, we got a couple of those. They're cool, man. See, nice. I don't have any of those up, up up here in New England. We don't get any of those. We even got one that's a KFC in a Taco Bell. We that have, we have. We got tons of those. Yeah. KFC, oh, Taco just Bells. not the Pizza Hut not, Taco Bell? Yeah, we don't have any right. of those up here. Oh, well. Um, And then, like, you cut to – he saves the girlfriend, and they go back to her place – but then, like, the cops show up at the scene, and, like, there's just three different cops by each dead body, and one guy's like, looks like this guy got fried. <laughs> looks like this guy's a strawberry milkshake. And they, they they don't, there's no, like, pun to it. They just say, this guy's, this guy's well a done. pizza now. <laughs> <laughs> like, eating tacos and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all sloppily eating tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, and uh, then they go back to, uh, so the Toxie and the uh, blind girl go to her apartment and she's like, watch out for the step. And then she immediately falls <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, let me grab my cane. And sh- there's a whole rack of like 20 canes and she just knocks them all over and hits them in the balls a bunch. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. That's a great part. She reads his palm and she touches his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> she reads nuts. Um, and makes him a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yeah. Um, it's a woman. So, And then decides they move in together in his dump. Yeah, why don't they he move lit- together in her like really yeah. nice apartment? Oh, yeah. She has a nice apartment with lots of canes. And he lives in a trailer in the dump. Wouldn't she be, Ooh, even though figure. she's blind, wouldn't she be like, ew, why are we in this place that stinks yeah, like she can garbage smell. all the time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it smells pretty bad. Yeah. It's got to. And, like, there's toxic sludge, like, everywhere, too. So, 
doesn't she step any of that shit? Because he's like, there's parts where he's like coming home and he's stepping in all that goop. Like, wouldn't she step in the goop and turn into a toxic yeah. thing too? Right? I don't know. That's true. She's got to walk the same path. Yeah. And she can't like see that there's not, you know, where it's a safe place to walk. Yeah. I don't know. So then we we, we cut to a scene where we meet this fat oaf of the mayor. And he's like, yo, I'm a crooked mayor. And uh, this toxic guy is, uh, he's putting all these people in the jail. Uh, I got to get him before he gets me. So, you know, the mayor is the only one in town who's after the toxic Avenger. Because so, he's a bad guy. So toxic, I don't know. Like, toxic, they want to put the, uh, <laughs> sorry. This I want just the, the like mayor's bad guy plan is like, uh, oh, the dump is uh, on some waterfront property, so we want to put condos there, or whatever. And uh, we're going to have to move the toxic waste sludge depot to the reservoir and poison our citizens. Yeah. Which, yeah. if you think about it, wouldn't be a bad thing necessarily because it made the Toxic Avenger strong and smart. And this would, the entire town is just a bunch of criminals, so they could smarten up a little bit. Put on a little muscle mass and better themselves for the community. You know, you strike a really good point there, dude. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Toxy Five. We need to we need to pitch this to uh, to, to Lloyd. Lloyd. I'm sure he's thinks. listening. He's a big fan. Oh sure. There you go. <laughs> so uh, Lloyd. Lloyd. So then we we go to like this montage of Toxy like. He's either saving people, like saving babies, saving kids from being run over. He's not even saving a baby. He just hands a random baby to oh, yeah. a person. <laughs> you don't know why. He or, just d- or does there's, it. There's just like a shot of him like, he's like, oh, I have a jacket and a hat on, and I hate having a jacket and a hat on. I got to take them off. <laughs> like for no reason. Um, <laughs> he opens up the popcorn. or the Oh, like, yeah, that was crazy. Popcorn yeah. for that lady. <laughs> And then it's magically popped. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably not safe to eat. Uh, so then, uh, oh, okay. So, all right. So the, up comes the part where he starts to take his revenge on the four people who turned him into the Toxic Avenger. Now, I was a little bit confused, Bloodbath. Maybe you could fill us in on this. So there's a part where Toxic Avenger just strolls on into the fitness center, which is where the bad guys like to hang out. And there's right. just some dude with a mustache who's just there, like, doing some exercises. And out of nowhere, the Toxic Avenger oh. takes this piece of equipment that he's using with these, with these like, weights and a big, like, tube in between them. And he, mm-hmm. like, plack, like, puts it right into this guy's head and crushes his head. Who the fuck crazy. is this guy? I've never seen this guy in any other scene. Yeah, Why that's crazy. This so I guess head? that's it- what... I guess that's where it differentiates between like the uh, director's cut and just like the regular release. Oh. Because this guy, before that, it shows him he's like selling drugs to like different people in the fitness center. Oh. It shows him like handing like this bag of like coke or something to looks like a little like seventeen year old girl or something. Gotcha. And then that's and then after he sells it to her, that's when he goes and works out on the machine and Toxie comes in and crushes his head. Gotcha. Mm, I think I maybe no we idea. just talked over that part because I know there was a scene with him. I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, I I didn't even notice. But I, I did I it. Like but it was very it. quick. I think maybe. Yeah, it's not that. It's just a couple of seconds. It just shows him like kind of the bag. And yeah. She looks around and then walks away. <clears throat> okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I, I think it's interesting because like, it seems that Toxy. Like I think they explain this. Toxy can somehow just like have a spidey sense where he knows if somebody has done bad shit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you a bad person or not? Boom, you're gonna die. Like you just be walking down the street and like sense oh, somebody is a bad person and he like horrifically murders them. So I don't know. Maybe that's, that's how a, it works. Yeah, that's when he kills the uh the lady at the dry cleaners. Yeah, right. That's like what I'm saying, you know? There's this right. lady at the dry cleaners who, same thing, you never see her or anything, but boom, he just kills her, and then later on you find out, oh, she's got a big criminal record, you know? She she owns a white slavery syndicate. <laughs> right. right. 
Um, I always, that part always, I didn't, that part kind of messed me up when he threw her in the dryer and turned it on. Yeah. That's what messed you up? I thought that was like <laughs> silly and funny. You okay with the 12 year old getting his head crushed like a watermelon, but putting, putting someone in a dryer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spinning around like they're eek the cat or something. That's too much. <laughs> Jeez. Gotta draw the line. <laughs> or the shotgun to the dog twice. I mean, Jesus. Oh yeah. Um so so Toxie starts taking out all these people, um, these four people who which I think is good because that means these people won't be running over uh, little kids and stuff anymore, you know? Um mm-hmm. So even though when he takes out one of the guys, he deliberately aims for a playground with a bunch of little kids on it. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, two of them. Well, well, all right. We'll talk about that part real quick. So these guys beat the shit out of this old lady who's driving a an exotic Japanese automobile, an import, and uh, they steal her car. Toxie gets into the car, chokes one of the guys to death, throws him out of the car. Gets into the passenger seat and like starts taking control of the wheel, and uh, and they start like smashing around everything. And of course, I feel like at this point, Toxie is like putting all these people's lives in danger that are like driving. Like <laughs> people, like people die. Like a bunch of cars smash and explode. You know? Yeah, they don't ever talk about that. And well, he, maybe they were evil. And he just sensed, oh, I can kill two birds with one stone Maybe. here. I just got to run over this painter's ladder. <laughs> it could have been the case. <laughs> so then, like, he literally, like, aims for a playground. All these people, like, kids and teachers, like, part the waves as... This... Maybe they were evil kids. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. And then and then the, the car just goes over the edge and blows up. Of course, Toxie's fine. Oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing can destroy him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and uh, so then he goes over, he goes after the chicks. Um, so one of them, she's like fingering herself to pictures <laughs> of a dead squashed face. And she shows off her party hats. Same thing, these oh, yeah. triangle uh, tan <laughs> party hats. And uh, Toxie like puts her ass on the hot coals. <laughs> That she sprinkles Sunny D on. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then the other one, I, I thought it was just funny how, like, he's hanging out, like, underneath a bench, and she's just, like, putting on her workout aerobics outfit. It's just, like, surprise, and, like, pops out. <laughs> and uh, and he's, like, he's like uh, he's like an 80s slasher at this point, where, like, she's, like, yeah. help, me, help me, like, running through the basement of this fitness center, and he's just mm. running after her. And then he... Like I don't know, kills her with scissors. You never see what she what he does, but he kills her with scissors. Yeah, he just like stabs her or something. It doesn't really show too much. I don't know if they show any of the director's cut or not. No, no, that's pretty much all they show. He just stabs her. That's surprising because they show everything else, but scissors are where they draw the line. Good point. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So at this point, just didn't work out. So Toxie kills this old lady who in the in the dry cleaners. So everybody's like, "Oh, to- that's it. Toxie's a bad guy." They cover up the fact that she has a criminal record. So everybody thinks Toxie's a bad guy and they like send out the national guard and they're going to go kill him. Um and he's a hiding out uh camping with Sarah, his girlfriend, even though they literally didn't go anywhere. They just went to like some shitty like abandoned uh like lot somewhere yeah. you know in the same town like they didn't go far at all for all you know they're right across the street from the from the dump right you yeah know? i don't know oh real quick i thought it was interesting they show this scene where like he and his girlfriend are like it's like a love scene <laughs> oh yeah they're like at the picnic and stuff yeah that was pretty wild <laughs> not gonna lie that was <laughs> unexpected i didn't think i was gonna see that what? You didn't think you were going to see a monster fucking someone in a trauma movie? I get, I don't know why, but that just like took me by surprise. Of all the, I was like, after I saw that, I was like, okay, now I've seen everything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anywho, so it's like, a love story. so the mayor decides he's going to kill Toxie. He gets like the army down in there and they're all surround. It's like at the end of the blues brothers, you know what I mean? And they've got all yeah. these army guys surrounding this tent and, uh, and uh, Toxie and Sarah come out of the tent, 
And all these people are like, no way, you can't kill Toxie. And they get in front of the tank and they get in front of Toxie and they part the ways. And, and then the mayor is like, no way, I'm going to get him. So he starts shooting Toxie. Nothing happens, of course. It's like a 50s black and white movie where the guy with the big rubber monster, where you can see the zipper in the back, just like comes after him. And, uh, <laughs> and he's like, let me see. Uh, let me see if you got any guts. And he pulls out the mayor's guts. And everybody's Very cheering nice. and having a great time because, like, <laughs> yeah, he murdered the mayor and ripped out his innards. Yeah, but no one knows that the mayor is a bad guy at this point. That's right. Everybody Nobody knows. Fine. He doesn't, even Toxie doesn't know. I mean, I guess he has his Toxie spidey sense. But, but, hey, um, but he, like, the you just, you just can't kill a mayor in front of the National Guard and not get shot at again yeah. and be <laughs> celebrated. Everybody, I don't know. They're all evil in Trumbo. That's They're not right. good people. That's why they cheered him. Yeah. <laughs> now he's got to kill the entire crowd one by one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See if the rest of you got any guts. Um, and that is Toxic Avenger. <laughs> Until the next three times. <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse or every time. Hey, hey, says you. <laughs> says you. I'm going to I'm going to let everybody know now. I'm going to put Uh-oh. the record straight. I've seen all four Toxies. I think 2 no. and 3 are the best Toxies and I prefer to see those two over 1 and 4. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I know I I know everybody's going to stop listening to this podcast. Everybody's going to unfollow go. us on the Instagram. I got to go, guys. I know oh, it's geez. over. It's over. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I think Toxie two and three, in my opinion, everybody can. Hey, don't get me wrong. I love number one. I love all of them. I think they're all great, but I just prefer two and three because they're just goofy, cartoony. Yeah, like there's like barely any gore. There's a little, there's a teeny, teeny bit of party hats, but like, and I know like like they they changed the the girlfriends a different car a different girl actress and all that stuff, but like I like the goofy comicalness of two and three more than sort of like the schlocky gore of one and four. You know what yeah. I mean? That's just me. Yeah. Yeah. The, the other ones are definitely more over the top and more funny. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And, you know, he Probably goes to Japan true. and it's, you know, he's a dragon thing. And I don't know. I just thought that they were, um, I don't know. I like them a little bit more specifically two. I think two is awesome. Like I like the, you know, the, I don't know. I just thought it was great. I like the video yeah. store scene and all. Oh that. yeah, that's such you a know. cool scene. Yeah, so which is basically a, a the exact same thing as the scene in the in the taco restaurant, except just in the, video, in the video store. store. So, yeah. but uh, and I don't know, like between all, I mean, all of them in account, I would say four is probably my least favorite because four, yeah. I think, really takes the gore and and stuff a little bit too high, and I. I don't know. I I don't like the whole like evil toxy dynamic and stuff. I don't know. It was, I don't know. It didn't do it for yeah, me that, that much. I like yeah. it, but it just didn't. It didn't do it for me as much. Yeah, that one's pretty weird. I don't like that one too much. Yeah, citizen toxy. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I think Sergeant Kabuki Man's bad in that one too, or something like that. Yeah, or yeah. Is evil Kabuki Man. I don't know. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's Toxic Avenger. In a nutshell, Ooh. so uh, so so bloodbath. <laughs> do you have do you have any other wacky, cool inside stories about this movie? Because you seem to be a really big fan. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Dead air. I can't I think of anything. Don't. <laughs> That's all right. Not a not necessary. So I tell you uh, what, I'm gonna I'm gonna look, up the, look up the ratings and uh, and see what I can find and see if we can guess. Here, which one are you looking up? I'll look up the other one. You look up IMDb. I've got right. the Amazon one. Let's see. Let's see. All right, guys, for the VHS copy of the Toxic Avenger, which currently at the moment, if you wanted a copy of it. On VHS from Amazon, it'll cost you seven ninety nine plus shipping. So what is it? Four bucks? So eight 
9, 10, 11. So it cost you $12 to get a copy of this movie. Um, and I don't know which one it is. I mean, the picture says it's the director's unrated cut, but I don't know which one you're going to actually get. Um, but uh, take a guess, fellas, of the – what do you guys think that the uh, – the the out of five stars, what is the rating of the VHS copy of Toxic Avengers? Start with you, Bloodbath. Uh, four point five. Four point five. <laughs> That's a good uh, guess. How about you, Team Man? Uh, I'm gonna say four even. Correct, Mungo. Ding 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 ding. It is four out of five stars. All right. How about that IMDb, dude? All right, out of 10 stars, the Toxic Avenger from 1984, 10-star rating from IMDb. Oh, do you want to what yes? is your answer, <laughs> Bloodbath? Uh, 7.5. All right, Bloodbath says 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb. Dane Train. Money. I'm going to say Dane Train it's IMDb. out of 10 stars IMDb. on the Internet Movie Database. I think IMDb what? is going to give it like a 3.25, <laughs> three and a quarter, because IMDb is all these fucking lame ass film snobs. Ooh, I'm sorry. The winner is Bloodbath. The oh. actual rating is 6.2. Oh, no shit. <laughs> That's very high. I think. Uh, I think there's probably just a lot of trauma fans uh, <laughs> All right. out there, but Must I be. mean that's uh, that's higher than I would have expected. Yeah. Um, there you go. There you go. So, um, all right, ha- let's do our own ratings. Let's see. Um, how about this? Out of, uh, out of how how much here? Out of ten, um, out of ten barrels. Of toxic waste with dry ice on the top, making making uh, foam and and uh, and and smoke. What do you say, T man? Uh, well, let's get bloodbath. See, he's okay. the guest. <laughs> bloodbath. Jeez. What do you say, dude? Uh, I'm gonna give it out of ten barrels of toxic waste nine point five. Ooh, Ooh, pretty high. Ooh. Now, why don't you give it a 10? What is that? What did you knock off for that 0.5 of a point? Uh, they're just some slow parts. Like whenever they're doing like the backstory and stuff and everybody's talking, it's just I agree. kind of boring. I agree. How about you, team man? Huh. All right. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to have to go closer to IMDb and do a uh, 6.5. Mm. It, okay. That's good. We'll take it. All right. Not okay. bad. It's not a not a bad rating. But what didn't you like too much about the movie? Was it the children's heads getting yeah. splattered? <laughs> <laughs> if that scene was cut out, would you uh, rate the movie? I probably would rate it a lot higher if that if that was just a different scene like if the if those like that gang of uh miscreants did something more like goofy and silly rather than straight up murdering a child <laughs> like if the if the tone was all like uh if the if the tone had like its place but it's it's the tone was all over so yeah okay. yeah yeah that's cool man um, I'm, I'm going to give this 8 out of 10 Ooh. barrels of toxic waste. And I would definitely rewind it again. Uh, oh, it's yeah. probably one of those movies where I'd watch maybe like every couple of years, give or take. Um, I don't think that you need to watch it with people. I think you could definitely watch this successfully <laughs> by yourself. If yeah. you had like some Taco Bell, you know what I mean? Or some Pizza Slut. You know, I don't know. Eating during this movie might not be okay. the best. <laughs> True. Idea. I completely Eat? agree with you. Oh, we Maybe never even the talked about day. food. I didn't eat any food when watching this movie. Bloodbath. Did you? Did you get to eat any uh, food when you watched the movie? Uh, I had a couple of tacos from Jack in the Box. Ooh, Ooh. we don't have Jack in the Box <laughs> up here fitting. in New England. No Jack I in the Box. I hope nobody got uh, brutally murdered while you were at Jack in the Box. <laughs> Drop Knowing the, the jack in the box down the street from me, that is not out of the realm of possibities. <laughs> at a jack in the box. 
So, T-Man, you had some Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts? What did you no, yep. no, What did you have? <laughs> I had a iced coffee and a sausage, egg, and cheese. I had an everything bagel. Ooh, you got the everything. With extra everything. <laughs> so, uh, was everything on your bagel? Everything. <laughs> Including the kitchen sink? Including the kitchen sink. Extra kitchen sink. <laughs> Put some more everything on there. Um... Bloodbath, do you have Dunkin' Donuts down where you are? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. All right. See, <laughs> well, it's just, it's the hard-hitting the, questions technically, again. Technically, Dunkin' Donuts is, its I mean, it's a New England thing, and I know that they're kind of scarce out in California, so I just they're didn't know so if they had rare. any down, down near you in, in, in uh, Texas. Yeah, yeah. it's Dunkin' Donuts and Shipley's Donuts. Shipley's. I've never even heard of Shipley's. Oh, yeah. Is that a, a couple of them? Yeah, yeah there's, here, there's there's a lot of yum yum donuts out here. What the hell is yum yum donuts? <laughs> I don't trust it. I don't know. My girlfriend said she, there was a. She ordered like donuts for work once, and there was a lot of hair. In that. Oh. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! At seven so... o'clock tomorrow morning at seven o'clock, I am going to a brand new donut place off Route Twenty in Millbury, Massachusetts, called Rocco's Donut Company. And supposedly they have these like crazy, ridiculous donuts. Like they make like uh, like Samoa donuts, like the Girl Scout cookies and s'mores donuts and all kinds of like crazy decadent donuts. And you got to get there stupid early in the morning, or else they're mm-hmm. sold out like that. So we're gonna get oh, there wow. like wicked early tomorrow morning. They just opened like a couple weeks ago too. So you know what, Milbury kind of reminds me of Tromaville a little bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I believe that. I like a nicer that. version of Tromaville, but uh, <laughs> something about it. Something about Milbury. All right, we're about to lose all of our Milbury fans. Sorry, <laughs> Milbury. I love hey, Milbury. I love going cool. to the Elm Draft House. It's awesome. I fucking love it over there. Um, Shout out to Milbury. To Milbury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, what the hell was it? What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I definitely Donuts. rewind the movie. The only reason that I gave it 8 out of 10 was like – like you said, bloodbath. Some of the parts were a little bit on the slow side. Um, yeah, I didn't like the kid's head getting crushed. I didn't like seeing the dog getting shot. Um, but uh, all in all, I, I thought it was a really solid, good story. I like. I, I love when people are like over the top in a movie. Like people are like, ah, yeah, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, like I love movies like where people are ridiculously stupid goofball over the top. And uh, everyone delivered on that end in this movie. I love the soundtrack to this movie. It's fucking awesome. Soundtrack it's so cool. Is stupid good. Now, like I think I saw in a picture. Do you have the soundtrack on? on no, uh, it was never released. They no? never released a soundtrack. Oh shit! I thought I saw maybe it was a laser disc or something. I thought I saw somebody had a soundtrack on a on a on a uh, vinyl or something like that. Yeah, it might have been a laser disc because they never put it out. Oh, nuts. That's what's crazy because like they released other uh, trauma movies soundtracks like Class of Newcom High. Yeah, and, yeah. You would think they would have. It's ridiculous. It yeah, it's so like one good. of the biggest movies. I don't know. Oh well, mm-hmm. that, those are your factoids for for today, uh, listeners. There is no soundtrack available. So uh, how about you know. guys? Well, obviously, Bloodbath. I know you would rewind the movie because I know you have. Oh yeah, at least four <laughs> times for each times. tape that you have. <laughs> so how about you, T Man? Would you rewind the tape again? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like I, I'd, I'd be a. You know what? I probably would rewind it. I suppose it's worth the time to rewind. Like you said, maybe every couple of years. This is a good watch. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Just to be kind, you'd rewind. Yeah. Yeah, Just to be kind. (laughs) Just just to do one kind deed in my life (laughs) would be to rewind this tape. So. Dear Topher, thank you for rewinding this tape. (laughs) So I'm just curious. So uh, as we're talking about trauma movies, so Bloodbath of all the trauma movies that are out there, I know you have an, you have a collection of those that are in yeah. your uh, in your sh- in your your gooey slimy uh, Nickelodeon shelves that you have in your house. <laughs> um, d- what is what would you say is your favorite trauma movie of all time? The uh, Toxic Avenger for sure. Uh, Surf Nazis Must Die is a good one also. All right. The first Class of Newcomb High. The first Sergeant Kabuki Man. Those are good ones. Yeah. 
I would have to say Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD is hands down my favorite trauma movie to date. Yeah. I love movie. that movie to death. It's it's kind of like, to me, it's very similar to Toxie 2 and 3. It's super goofy, not not like big on the gore stuff, and it's like it could almost be a Saturday morning cartoon to me. It just, <laughs> you know what I mean? So how about you, T-Man? Uh, well, I could be uh, vain and selfish and say memento mortis, but that's a, a like a cheese ball uh, flick, like tits and blood movie that I w- had a little cameo in oh. that got picked up by Drummond. Oh, I see. Um, but is it the best trauma movie? I think I the best my, classic my, trauma movie. My two, it's it's a tie. I think Sergeant Kabuki, Sergeant Kabuki Man, Kabuki. NYPD is so good. Like it, that's actually like a wicked good movie. Yeah. But also, I think to like a movie that has all of the trauma elements, I think would be Terror Firmer. Ooh. That like that hits all of the trauma like uh, notes that you would expect, and uh, I think. That would probably be uh, the best trauma movie, but the best movie trauma ever did <laughs> would be Sergeant <laughs> Kabuki Man. Yeah, I, I think I have to agree with you on that. One. Yeah, tra- yeah, definitely. Terra Firmer is a that's a wild watch. Yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. One. Uh, I think of anything that movie definitely like encapsulates what trauma is all about. Trauma, uh, yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what I was really surprised is that. To- the, the first Toxic Avenger does not have that classic scene of like the car flipping over and and blowing up that like they have in every single movie. That's because that's from Sergeant Kabuki Man. Oh, so it must have been done later, huh? That shot. That's he, yes. Yeah, so, well, Sergeant that that car flipping over scene is from Sergeant Kabuki Man, and after that they put it in every other movie because ah. it was so expensive to do that they wanted to get their money's right. worth. All right. Um. Recently, I rented from the library a <laughs> Blu-ray of a documentary that was picked up by Troma called VHS Massacre. Have any of you guys seen that? Oh, uh, I I don't know if I no. have. I've I've seen a couple of them, but I'm not I'm not sure that I've seen that one. Rent it from your local library. It's a, I think it's on Amazon Prime too. It, maybe it is. Um, it's a it's a documentary about. Um, physical media, particularly movies, uh, physical media where like, you know, everything's going to Netflix and streaming and stuff. And like they interview like a uh, Joe Bob Briggs and you know, a uh, bunch of people. Um, I and, miss Joe Bob Briggs. Oh, he's awesome. That was so good. <laughs> he's great. Um, so the funny thing is like at the beginning, at the head of this, of this Blu-ray is this whole thing where they're like, we're going to go back in time and, and uh, we need Lloyd Kaufman to uh, like in to not invest in VHS so he doesn't go out of business because VHS <laughs> is gonna go away. So like he they go back in time and to like whatever I think it's like 1990 or something like that. And Lloyd Kaufman's like having a party with Toxie and they're like, oh, I love VHS. I'm gonna invest every dime in the VHS. And then they go back to the future and he's like, oh, I invested everything in Betamax instead. <laughs> um, but uh, it's a good documentary. You guys should definitely check it out. Called VHS Massacre, and it very similar to um, uh, in the same vein. A quick little cheap plug: a very good friend of mine that I went to college with is currently working on a documentary called Not for Resale that he's still shooting and working. On. That's going to end up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where that's going to end up on Amazon Prime or, or whatever, but same same thing, but it's about the physical media of video games. Um, cool. So that should be coming out eventually. Um, so there you go. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, I mean, for, I'd say for, the, for Toxic Avenger to be the first trauma movie that we have done for the VHS Bandits podcast, I think that is a very, very good staple for us to start off with so absolutely bloodbath oh, yeah. we can't thank you enough for uh for being on this show with us and suggesting to watch the toxic avenger yeah dude, thank pleasure you. was all mine man. so oh, mr I... sorry continue uh, pleasure was all mine so that i was able to be on this podcast very cool are thank there any you. i'm sorry go what ahead, would team, you man. like to plug 
where can people follow you see all of your awesome uh vhs tape collection and uh all of uh, all of your bloodbath madness bloodbath <laughs> uh just on instagram vhs bloodbath i also have a instagram for my cat vhs blood cat oh totally oh, you do <laughs> i'm looking at that right now i love that account <laughs> <laughs> boom um but yeah also i was gonna say um if anybody is in Houston, um, at the, around the time of the end of April, April 29th, there's this cat named uh, Champion Video. Uh, he's doing a VHS swap. I went to one a couple of weeks ago. It was pretty rad. Nice. He's going to be doing it again. It's going to be at the Insomnia Gallery in Houston, Texas. So if you guys, anybody's around and listening to this and wants to go check it out, see some tapes and share some tapes, you should definitely go down there and check it out. Pretty rad. Nice. Nice. Wish we could join you, brother. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> now, what are? Let me ask you this: in Houston, what do tapes go for? Like, other than like your typical, um, like, thrift store or something, will usually sell them for a dollar or two bucks or something like that. But when you go to like, what do you see these like vendors and things? Well, this recent one that he did was like the first one I've ever even been to here in Houston because like nobody is really doing anything like that. So that was oh, wow. the first one. And uh, they had a lot of really good deals up there. I mean, I would get, you know, great stacks of tapes for like under 20 bucks. I got like Sleepaway Camp and some Mondo Magic and stuff like that. Really good tapes, really good prices. Nice. Nice. So here's a, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about your collection. So you have like a wicked kick-ass collection of stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of Tracy Lords. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> trauma and stuff. It, like, I, I mean, you know, I obviously, you know, for every person that, you know, that, that we're friends with in the in the community, everybody kind of has different tastes and stuff like that. So, like, you know, for your kind of stuff, like, what would you say is like one of your prize tapes or like in your collection? Like, do you have like a certain couple of tapes that you're like, oh, like, like I'll be buried with these or, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like anything like that? Uh, Yeah, probably that big box, A Taste of Tracy. Porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's the first uh, porn uh, grail that we've heard of. <laughs> do you have? Do you have? We should do a hookers? porn episode. Oh, we should. Oh my god. Yeah, we should well, do we it on New Wave Hookers for Christ's sakes. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Do you have that? No, sadly, I don't. They know it's like there's two versions. There's one with and one without uh, Tracy Lords. So. They both yeah, yeah, yeah. After in, that, but yeah, after that whole fiasco happened, we figured out too. We could do fuck sandwich. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anal stars. There you go. Um, uh, but yeah. So what is it? What's what's one tape uh, that you want but haven't yet acquired? What what is your holy grail that you're searching for? Um, let's see. Holy Grail tape. Uh, you guys put me on the spot with the tough questions, man. This is a real VHS question. <laughs> also, how is the weather right now? Did it? What cardigan are you cloudy? wearing? <laughs> yeah. Got my members only jacket on. Yeah. Uh, maybe like uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the media release. That one's pretty rad. I really like that movie. That's really cool. Cool. Nice. That's one of my favorites. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cool. Yeah. All righty. Well, we are just about out of time. So uh, time to time to hit the eject on the VCR, fellas. So um, Bloodbath, again, I cannot thank you enough for – well, first of all, for just being one of the fucking coolest dudes in the community <laughs> out there on, on Instagram. Thank you so much for being a big fan and always um, – you know, keeping tabs with us and, and, and all the trading and, and just for being fucking ridiculously awesome. Yeah, dude. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate being on this podcast. Hopefully I wasn't too weird or too awkward <laughs> enough that you <laughs> No, no, no. no. <laughs> let's Thank just say, you. let's just say I would be happy as hell to have you back on the show, dude. Oh, awesome. please, man. Kabuki, man. Kabuki, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. I don't have it, but if I get myself a copy of it, we'll totally do it. So. Cool. That'd awesome. be kick ass. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Um, right before we leave, I just want to do one more quick, quick plug. Uh, as a request from uh, another wicked cool dude on the Instagram, there is a horror host, a VHS collecting horror host 
called Needles the Grave Digger. Uh, if you guys Friday are familiar 13th. with him, he's fucking awesome. He's yeah, he's got his Friday the Thirteenth show coming out this Friday, April Spooky the Thirteenth. So uh, please check that out and uh, follow Needles the Grave Digger, the horror host, uh, up on the Instagram. Oh, right. speaking of Friday the Thirteenth, Tope, are you still playing the Friday the Thirteenth game? Yeah, always, man. If you're on Xbox, fucking add me. We'll uh, kill some counselors or get <laughs> killed. Yeah, awesome, awesome. What's your all right? So if they, if anybody wants to connect with you guys on the on the Xbox, how do they get in touch with you? Well, I sadly have PlayStation Four. I wish oh, I had bummer. Xbox so I could play with Tofu, but I'm just a VHS blood bath on PS4. There you go. <laughs> For any of you I'll guys on Xbox. PlayStation Four. There you go. So I play yeah, buy buy an Xbox. Yeah, I'll buy a PS4. <laughs> so we'll do they seriously we'll like fuck that up to where it you have it's a it's a console exclusive thing where like if you have an yeah, Xbox, there's no cross platform. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Stupid. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well um, I have a cheap plug as well. Now cheap that, plug now it, dude. You mention it. Cheap uh, plug. <laughs> Dark Roast is going to be playing at the Scene Film Festival in Providence, Rhode Island. All right. Uh, that is at the Columbus Theater. Um, and I believe we are playing on Saturday the 28th um, around 6 p.m. But you can check out scenefest.com for details s e n e fest.com and it's uh it's a be really there, cool festival there, i went there. last year yeah be there saturday 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 <laughs> truckosaurus for, for the most extreme <laughs> indie horror comedy you'll see this year thank you i'm putting that on the box <laughs> You'll buy Says the my whole seat, friend. but you'll only need the edge, the edge, the edge. And Truckosaurus <laughs> will be there crushing some cars. <laughs> Extreme Motocross at the Indie Film Scene Show in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> where kids Close see just five bucks. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. <laughs> hey, well, hey, uh, Bloodbath, thank you again, dude. Everybody have a great rest of your day and your weekend. And uh, be kind and rewind, everybody.